Well, as you guys probably know, I'm kind of new to TIG welding and I've been playing around with the Vulcan and the Titanium a little bit. And I've been practicing a little bit at work when I get time and around my shop here. And I've been having a lot of fun learning new you know, technique for welding. We don't have really met too many good weld shops around here and the few that are actually existing. Um, either are kind of rude hillbillies that work at them or uh, the one place I go to was a kind of a hardware store slash welding shop. And they just kind of sold the business recently and got out of the gig. So ordered this stuff on Amazonian. And uh, I kind of like this pack. I, when I ordered it, we'll see how it actually works out. But uh, it was a uh, blue tungsten and it came with five one uh, sixteenth inch diameter and five three thirty seconds inch. So it gives me a little variety there to work with. Uh, I had one viewer on one of my other videos recommend a clear cup kit for your welding uh, for the TIG. So um, I know there's really nice kits out there that cost an arm and a leg and I'm not a professional by any means. As you guys know, I'm working with the Harbor Freight welders, which I think work perfectly fine, completely adequate for what I do and for most people. But there's always gonna be those dudes out there that say, this is shit, and they're gonna also say, get the name brand $70, $60 kit. Them dang torch cups. I don't care if they're twice as good and a third of the price, I'd never use them. But I'm just starting out. I'm figuring it out. I've been having a lot of fun. I have those little pink cups like this on here and it works just fine but figure i'll give this one a try so we're going to hook it on the torch see the differences see how much stubbier it actually makes it. it's the pyrex clear kit and uh go from there again i got this on amazon as well so we'll see mixed reviews you know you see stuff people say some shit on there like in the reviews like this is a great kit and other people say this is horrible junk uh a lot of times i see really bad reviews sometimes stuff is junk but other times people don't know what the hell they're doing. The people are talking about the cups falling off. And I think you gotta run two O-rings on here and I don't think the people are doing that. So we'll see. Maybe I'll be eating my words later, but it's under 20 bucks, so it's worth a try. All right, let's get hooking this thing up. So I'll show you guys what this kit has. It comes in this little case. It comes with two little Teflon rings. Um, looks like two different styles. One kind of has a lip on it and the other one this one is the style that's on my torch here. This is the one that came with the titanium welder. And uh, so you got two different styles of that. You got, I think, six green O-rings, four number 10 Pyrex cups. And of course you get these different backings for the torch. And you get a few different size filter screens. We'll go over, I'll compare the difference of what's oh, in the torch right now to these. So these just fit different size tungstens and stuff, but they actually have um, kind of a diffuser screen in them, a little stainless steel screen. The way the gas comes in is a little bit different than the stock ones. I'll show you guys up close shot of the difference on these. All right, so here's the style that came with the torch. This is pretty standard. And the gas comes out around these little holes right around the side here. And here is the style that came with this kit. And the gas comes out through this little stainless steel mesh screen. So the idea is it gives you just a more uniform, less turbulent gas flow. And you can see the length difference on these things are quite a bit here. Don't worry about the difference in size. This is number six, this is number 10, just different cup size. But here's the length difference in uh, the cup, standard cup, ceramic, and uh, Pyrex. So that shortens up the torch even more. And the idea is you get more light around this area so you can see a little bit better while you're welding. We'll see, we'll see if it makes a difference. So even the bottom Teflon ring here is shorter with the new kit. All right, gonna put this torch together. Start off with the little snap ring here, the little white ring. Um, Found that it's a little easier to roll these O-rings on the back side rather than over the large threads. Put two of them on here, I believe. Um, anyways, I think this kit is gonna probably help a little bit with the learning curve. You might be able to illuminate the area a little better. The torch will be a little shorter. Maybe it'll be a little more comfortable to control. But I don't really think it's gonna really take the place of just spending a lot of time and practicing. With anything like that, I think it just comes down to taking time and practicing. I've seen a lot of people over the years go out and spend the most money on the nicest shit possible um, because they had a lot of extra cash and they still suck at it. Uh, I would rather do a lot with a little than a little with a lot and that's kind of been my whole thing. For one thing growing up not having much money over the years just kind of work with broken stuff or hand-me-down stuff and really I don't think even if I bought the $70 cup it's really going to change that much when you still got a learning curve you got to still figure it out. But uh, 
Yeah, that fits on there pretty good with the dual O-rings. I think that's definitely the way to go with it. Um, so, yeah, it feels pretty good. It feels pretty quality. I mean, everything fit together really well on the torch. And it actually did shorten it up if you lined up these uh, white rings on here. Ended up shortening it up about seven eighths of an inch. And that might make a little bit of a difference. We'll see. Uh, it definitely feels pretty quality. It feels like it fit on there really well. I hear the Pyrex is a little easier to break than the ceramic, but they come with four in the kit and they're pretty affordable to buy replacements as well. Got the switch turned to the middle position for TIG and with TIG SDC um, ground clamp on the positive and the TIG torch on the negative. And we're running on 120 volts because a lot of people always ask how these things actually work on 120 volts. And we just gotta hook up the gas and we can start welding. And it's set at 90 amps, that's the highest it'll go on 120 volts. And we got some 3 16 steel here, I cut a little bevel in. And I did a little test weld on here and I have to say, I'm surprised I actually saw some results already. I'm not bullshitting you guys. I've been welding off and on, uh, playing around with the TIG the last few weeks especially quite a bit. And uh, always with those other cups I had on here, um, I always had kind of the metal, the weld looked a little bit grayish and matte colored and it looks a lot more glossy and clean like it's got better gas coverage. And I have the gas set pretty low, it's about, um, what is it, 10 cubic feet per hour and uh, it's really coming out a little bit better so uh, I'm pretty surprised about that. And uh, of course, you know, with the video I did recently about talking about actually cleaning my damn lens, I can see what I'm doing. But I think that glass lens made a bit of a difference. Now, I'm not saying it's going to change your welding characteristics extremely, but uh, already that little bit of welding, it did seem to be noticeable. So uh, bring the camera in here and uh, show you guys a little bit of TIG welding. All right, you guys, this is kind of my first test pieces here. This was a 3 uh, 16th plate, and I just didn't think this thing was going to quite have enough amperage on 120 volts, and just felt like I was kind of struggling to kind of get the weld on there. Um, just needed a little hotter, and I plugged into 240, and I started playing around here, and I'm definitely a lot happier way it's welding. I put it just from 90 to 100 amps, but it just seems to have a lot more backing behind it. So I'm going to keep laying on some more welds and playing around with it. Definitely, I've not seen my welds so far yet uh, look this shiny, so I think those gas cups made a difference. That's the drawback with the uh, scratch start. You gotta pull it away, break the arc, and bring it back down to shield the end. And if you don't pull away far enough, you get that long arc right there and it'll kind of pit it. All right, you guys, well, we got the ceramic cup and all the components back in here. Same consumables before, same gas flow. Um, for all fairness, I gotta say the Pyrex cup was a number 10. This is a number eight. It's the biggest one I have uh, in ceramic, but it's uh, really, really close. So we're gonna get welding here and see if there's any difference on shielding. Well, I can clearly see there's a, well, I don't know what happened here, a little contamination or something. I got a little bit of a porosity in that beginning of that. The tip doesn't look like it's touching anything. Well, maybe. Might clean that down again and try it a second time. But the whole weld itself looks uh, more um, kind of a gray matte. So I'm going to clean this tip up again. We'll try one more. Had to cut another groove in this. A piece of metal. I ran out of some seam. And we got it all cleaned up. And we're going to give this... Uh, ceramic tip got the consumable all cleaned up again we're going to give it another fair chance and see how it does
Well, somehow I got the tip contaminated again. And uh, like I said, I did all this and all this up to here with that cup, <laughs> never contaminated it once. And I've done these two. And for some reason, it starts getting this splatter. I mean, this one looks still not as clean as these, though, before it even got contaminated. So I'm going back to the glass. Glass cups back on here, same consumable, just cleaned up. Now, did not hit the tip on that thing at all, so I don't know, man. The way I feel like this shit is going in the garbage. I, uh, I just, maybe it's just because you can see it better. I'm not really sure, but like I said, I did practically two feet of weld, put on that pink tip. Somehow, it didn't seem like I was any closer the whole time, but some reason it got contaminated both times, so. And all these welds were done with that glass uh, Pyrex cups. Except for this one and this one. Those are with the pink ones. And I don't know if they'll show up on the camera, but these, these two have more of a matte look to them. And for some reason, I hit the tungsten twice on it. Uh, I don't know what the deal was. It didn't seem like I was dipping it in there, but it seemed to hit it. So, All right, you guys. I just could not believe the difference on there, so I had to just run one more test here. I got two coupons cut, 130 amps on the titanium. We're going to be doing the first test with the glass cup, and the second one will be with this thing I dug out of the garbage here. And uh, we're going to run them through here. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better there. Uh, just got the right amps dialed in for this thicker plate. Bring you guys in for a shot of that. Well guys, I'm pretty impressed with that cup, man. That's some of the nicer welds I've gotten so far. Let me shield some of this lighting so you guys can actually see. So there's that weld with that uh, Pyrex cup. It's a little really hard to see with this lighting in here, but there it is. Turned out beautiful. Shiny, nice welds. We'll put on that... Uh, <laughs> this damn thing next and see how what we get out of it got the pink cup on here same quarter inch stick out on here It turned out not so bad this time. So this is the glass cup side and it laid on pretty smooth. It seemed uh, much more effortless being able to see through that lens. This is the pink um, ceramic side and I tried my best man and I didn't dip the tungsten in at all but it was a little bit more work and as you can see it didn't seem as consistent. Uh, a little bit more when I looked at the video a little more sparking when I first started it up the arc. I just don't think there's adequate gas coverage to actually shield it. You probably have to turn the tank up more. And it's a little more matte. It's not as bad as some of the welds I've done with the pink cups, but uh, still seemed a bit um, more matte finish. And uh, this laid on pretty smooth over here. Let's see if I can change the lighting in the shop a little bit to kind of show you guys it. There you go. So... Definitely going to be running these things. Those pink tips are definitely not going to be used anymore in the shop. I have to thank the person. There was a subscriber of mine that suggested, I think he was new to TIG welding as well. He mentioned to get try out a stubby glass lens kit. He didn't say brand or model or anything. And uh, But anyways, thank you because um, it does make a, quite a bit of difference, I think. Anyways, I'm really happy with it. There's no way in hell I'm going back to these pink garbage things. Matter of fact, Threw it across the shop because I'm not going to be using that again. I uh, think I'm going to stick with these. Pyrex cup had no problem. It's not coming off. It's actually going to take quite a bit of work to 
take it off of there. So I think double O-rings is definitely the way to go. People that probably had them falling off on some kits probably just didn't put two O-rings on it. Work good. Definitely a better gas coverage. You can see what you're doing a hell of a lot better. I will only keep fronting these on my torches from here. Maybe different main brands. I don't know. Like this kit on Amazon, I'll put a link below if you guys want to try them out. Like I said, this kit at the time doing this video was under 20 bucks. And I have to say it's a pretty good $20. It feels like it's made a world of difference there for me. Time and practice is going to be the biggest thing. But it seemed to be a lot easier to control and see what you're doing. And the gas coverage is much better. I can see that right on the parts. They're much more clean looking. Tungsten. Um, this pack, I'll put a link below to where you can, guys can find this. Because a lot of times when I was digging around for 10 packs, you're just getting one size. And this pack here is pretty cool because you got the 1 16th, five of those, and 3 seconds, five of those. So it's kind of nice to have a little variety without dropping twice as much on two different sets. This was, I think, under 20 bucks for uh, 10. So anyways, I'll put some links below to that if you guys want to try them out. Um, I'm not trying to twist your arm on any of this stuff, but... Uh, if you are new to TIG welding and playing around with it, like I am, I think this made a world of difference here for, uh, I think it's going to definitely help the learning curve. So until next time, you guys, take care. Goodbye.